What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Detail Garage where we brought in this beautiful blue Volkswagen Golf R. Recently it was taken to a body shop where it was polished incorrectly and now it's covered in swirls, scratches, and marring as well as holograms. Now the last time we tackled this subject we had virtually the exact same car. I don't know what it is about these Volkswagens but we keep getting these same dark blue cars with holograms. But I wanted to show you the easiest way to remove it using V36 and an orange hex logic pad. To begin any detail, you want to remove as much of the bulk dirt and debris on the surface as possible. So we took the car outside, gave it a foam bath using citrus wash and gloss, which lays down a thick layer of suds which help lubricate the surface to prevent any kind of future scratches and swirls, while also enhancing some of that gloss. Then we gave it a light clay bar treatment because although the car is new, it's still going to have some kind of contamination in the pores of the paint and that's something you want to remove before you start polishing because it can create more damage. But now we're moving on to the polishing steps, we're going to be using a Torque 15 DA which throws a 15 millimeter throw because this car doesn't have a lot of intricate designs, it's got more of a, a flat panel effect, so that's going to give us the right amount of throw as well as a five inch pad which covers a lot of surface area. This way we're not wasting a lot of time or having to cover some kind of tiger striping. And then we're going to refine it after we use our V36. We're gonna move down to a white pad with V38 to really jewel that paint. So let's get started. Before we begin, I wanna mention a few things, starting off with what is marring and holograms and uh, we'll start with marring. What that is essentially is usually during a clay bar uh, treatment, if the clay bar goes dry or it creates a lot of friction, that starts to flatten out the paint or gives it this really rough look. A lot of people have probably seen it where your paint looks kind of cloudy and that's usually due to marring, which is lack of lubrication. Moving on to holograms, that's where you, usually with the light as it moves, you can see kind of a faint ghost trail or a buffer trail as it's commonly known as, and that's because of either an extreme angle of the pad, which means that you're not placing it flat on the surface, it's digging in, creating a hot spot on the edge of the pad, and this is cutting at an uneven rate, and that's what gives you that kind of cloudy look as well as that hologram look. But the way to remove that is machine polishing. Now, obviously that's going to remove a fine layer of your clear coat. That also removes the scratches, the swirls, and any other kind of defects that are on the surface layer of the clear coat. Now also, why we're using V36 is because, as I mentioned, this car was just polished, and I'm not sure exactly how much paint was taken off in the initial polish, so since it's a new car, we don't want to remove as much possible you know, clear coat as we can. We want to do the least aggressive approach first. This way we can have as much clear coat for as long as possible. So now we're going to go down here and grab our machine. The Torque 15DA, which I mentioned, has a 15 millimeter throw. This is going to cover a lot of area. And since this car, again, has very flat panels, we don't need something that we're going to have to necessarily use in a tight, controlled uh, throw. But we also have our orange text logic pad. And why we're using that is because this is going to be a heavy polishing pad, which has a minor cut. So this gives you that perfect combination of, again, using the least aggressive approach while also refining it and giving you that mirror finish because in some cases you can even finish with V36 if you work it improperly. But for this car, since it has this really deep blue paint, we're going to do a two-step polish, which means one step with an orange pad in V36 and then a second step with a white pad in V38. But to begin, we're going to shake up our V36 and apply five dime-sized dots to the pad or about the size of one hex. And the reason why we use five is so that we can let the polisher create enough friction and also diminish the polish, let it do its job thoroughly. And then to prevent any kind of excess heat, we're gonna use some polishing pad conditioner. This also kind of helps to save your pads. So if you're replacing your pads often, you probably wanna invest in a kind of polishing pad conditioner or maybe use less product, which will help save the foam. Now we'll go back up here and we're gonna blotch it out. And on the lowest speed setting, we're going to spread it out. And on the highest speed setting, that's what we're gonna be doing our polishing. What a dual action does is it's going to oscillate in one central area as well as oscillating around that area. So it's creating two motions. And when you're polishing, you wanna make sure that the machine is completely flat because again, that's going to prevent the holograms and marring. And then you want to apply a light pressure about the weight of your hand is good enough. You wanna make sure that the pad is still spinning because if it stalls out or if it slows down, you're not polishing. It's basically just going to be vibrating on the surface. So you wanna make sure that it's spinning at all times. This way it's properly diminishing the polish and this is where you're finding that clear coat. And then we're going to also make sure that we're not dipping and diving too much front to back because again, that's going to create holograms. So you wanna keep it nice and flat on the surface there and using it on the highest speed setting, whether you're using a dual action or random orbital, or if you're using a rotary, you're probably gonna to have to fine tune your RPMs. But for today, we're gonna to use the highest speed setting, which is speed setting six on the Torque 15 DA. Thank you 
So once your polish has gone basically clear or translucent, you want to take a clean microfiber towel and just wipe away any of the excess. And this way you can check your work. And already you can see there's a huge transformation. There's a lot of deep, lustrous blue brought back. And also I split the gas cap here in half just to show you guys what it looked like before in case you forgot, because it's literally a huge transformation because over here you have the marring, you have slight scratches and swirls here, and it just looks awful compared to how it should look with this really rich blue. Now we're going to continue the same process around the rest of the vehicle and then we're going to refine it using V30 as I mentioned because although this looks great it can always look better so we're going to do that and then whenever you're done with your polishing job this is the great time to either put on a ceramic coating or you can put your favorite glaze sealant wax combination on there to really enrich the shine but more importantly you're adding paint protection and on a car like this where it's brand new we want it to look as best as it can for as long as possible so having a triple combination or even just a standalone ceramic coating is going to be the best way to do that. So if you guys want to check out these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, or to your local detail garage. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop your comments down below to tell us what you guys want to see in the next video. And we'll see you next time right here in the detail garage.